All right, today we got a twofer. It's not really a twofer. It's the same bag, but we got two different versions. We have a VX V50 of the ULA Dragonfly, and we have the Ultra. This is the Ultra 400 TX version. So side by side, this is what they look like. A little different color variation. This one is, of course, Ultra, but you get a kind of a grayish color just because of the way it's built. This one's just more black in the VX50, so I wanted them both to see which one I liked. Obviously this one's a little bit lighter. This is the ULA Dragonfly, ULA, with Ultralight Adventure Equipment. They make a bunch of great stuff. They make some custom packs. In fact, I have a custom circuit that I might get around to doing a video on. Looks super cool, but these are the Dragonflies. This video was often requested and I just been putting it off for a while. No real good reason for that. So I'm finally getting around to doing this. I've had these for a few months, packed them out several times. I've got them both packed out slightly differently, so we'll take a look at that once we get on the inside. But they release these bags really pretty much about every week or so. On a Wednesday, they put a drop, so you definitely check the link in the description. Go sign up for their email alerts because you'll get a notification of when they're back in stock. Mostly making ultra versions these days. Not so much. I really haven't seen any of the VX or the X50s, V50s, according to my receipt but not really seeing many like this. So you're really gonna be stuck with the Ultra. They're both great bags. Look a little different, functionally the same. We're gonna spend most of the time on the Ultra as we go through this because really, I've got it just packed out with a lot more stuff. Got this one packed out pretty cool too, but we're gonna spend most of our time on this one. Now. One thing I really like about these and really what I'm coming around to is I really love these stretchy water bottle pockets. I've got two here. Um, well, they'll, they both have two, but what's really awesome is they just fit these biggest now jeans and they just do perfectly with that. I've got that the biggest now jean. I got this huge Yeti in there as well. Just does awesome and just looks fantastic with or without them. And those pockets just totally cinch in. And this one over here, I've got the Peak Design carbon tripod, which is great. And the fact that these have compression straps on the upper part of the bag, just allow you to either compress the bag, compression straps, or to secure other gear. Now, what's different about this compared to other bags is there's no, you know, G-hook or fid lock or anything. So those are just in there. So if you're gonna use it, you gotta kinda get it through or over that strap and then stitch it down. But it is great because you can carry bigger, taller items in here. You could carry some trekking poles jammed in there, tips up, and then, you know, secure that with this is another way to do this. There's no other gear loops. There is this nice stretchy cord in the front. So you could put maybe some stuff in there, but there's no gear attachment loops for like an ice axe, that kind of thing. This is more an EDC do everything kind of bag. And it is super lightweight. A lot of great features. So let's dive in. So outside we have one big clamshell opening. It's kind of a weird shape where it's definitely wider at the bottom, angled at the bottom. So it's kind of tough to stand. I've got everything jammed in here. So this one stands okay. This one, you know, it's not standing very well just because of the way it's packed out. That angle bottom kind of prevents that a little bit. But the way this one's packed out, it just is standing. Now there is, again, this little stretchy loop across the front so you can put a jacket, some other stuff, some other lightweight things in there, cinch it tight, and it's just nice. You could also just remove that if you wanted to. If you just didn't like the look of it, I kind of do. There's one front pocket here. There's a top pocket, always top pocket. And then there's a back zipper for the laptop compartment. And then of course the water bottle pocket. So that's pretty cool. And I do like that. Get a compression straps, no other attachments on the bottom. The back panel is nice. And the shoulder straps are a little thin, not as padded as some of the others, but they got this nice little mesh on the bottom. Uh, and it is pretty cool. No strap keepers. There is an attachment for a waist belt that you could put in there, but doesn't come with it. And then again, the back panel is nice. Nice place for your spine to rest in there. Nice and breathable, not a ton of padding. There is a very thin frame sheet in here, uh, but that's it. Now this, before I dive into the pockets, AquaGuard zippers on both. So you're really not gonna have a choice there either way. This one, the V50 X50 version, 
about $200, this one's $250. So that's that ultra price. The ultra material gets you an ultra price. So there we go, strap keepers, like I said, diving into the pockets, they're pretty big. And again, you're taking full advantage of the stretch material on both. There's a stretchy ultra material on this, also stretchy over here, just not, you know, ultra stretchy. Um, I didn't really experience any difference between the two, but maybe long term, you can maybe abuse this one a little bit more. In this one, this front pocket of the Dragonfly, and again, what do I do? I overpack them. So things get a little tight as you overpack things. And then no difference here, but this fits the Evergoods. It's the Carryology collaboration version, the Phoenix edition of the Cap One. Fits nicely in the front pocket. It kind of fits perfectly in there. And this pocket goes not only through the stretchy part, but a little bit up to the top. So you can fit a bigger item in the front. The top pocket is nice and it is on top. It goes to essentially the top part of the bag and you know, sunglasses, phone, it's not padded or um, super soft like some other bags, but it is nice and it is a nice material on the inside to keep things sort of just nice. And so it is sizable and there's a key loop, but actually it's not really a key loop as it is a little mini carabiner on a little tiny loop. So you can put maybe a flashlight in there or your keys if that's how you roll. But either way, nice, spacious top pocket, a room for all your things, which for me, mostly sunglasses, maybe your phone. It will fit the iPhone max size or smaller. And then, you know, AirPods, that kind of stuff as you're on the trip. This back pocket is a not elevated but it is on the inside of the very thin frame sheet, place for your laptop or a taller item. Now, the problem is, and I have the 13 inch MacBook Pro, I think it says on the website 15 inch up to that, and I believe that, There's, it's not elevated, but because I have this thing super packed, the laptop kind of lived on the upper part of it, so just think that's one way you could roll with this laptop in here and this thin and padded frame sheet. It's nice and doesn't really kind of bulge out on your back like maybe some other bags. So it is nice and functional. Again, just not elevated. So remember, if you slam this thing on the ground, what's also slamming the ground? The laptop. That's the outside features. Minimalist, I'd say, but adequate because we've got a nice range of places to put things. Now we're also gonna take a look at this one and, and no difference between the X50 edition and the Ultra, except for obviously the looks. I've got a Matador locking carabiner. Have you seen this thing, man? I'll put a link down in the description of this, but I got two of these suckers, man. Um, of course you wouldn't be locking this cord up, but you can put it on things and then there's some nice little TSA compliant key in there. I just thought that was the coolest thing and I got two of them. So there you go. Just a nice different black color side to side let's take out this tripod because it's going to get in the way but here we go side by side very fantastic nice looking bags let's dive into the inside so we can see really how it compares now the inside of both those bags i'll show you from this angle there is two pockets i don't have any in this side but i'll show you the inside later two pockets they're not super wide so not fitting a cap one in there Really, I have the garage built gear, Mighty Pouches 2, Mighty Pouches, not 2, just Mighty Pouches in there, seem to be perfect for those. I got one in each, and that's about pretty much it. Now you can put some other stuff in there, you're, of course you're going to see it because it's mesh, but that's nice. On this side, same thing, same size pockets, obviously, same bag, um, so there you go, just uh, nice. Although I'm just realizing this one's got just a kind of a paracord zipper pull. And this one's got the straight up metal YKKs. Interesting. Outside, the same, but inside, slightly different. Whatever. All right, so th what differentiates this bag, first of all, they're 30 liters and that's a lot of space. And I do think it's probably pretty close to 30 liters. But what's super cool about this is not only is this space just kind of wide open is they've got these sort of like their old school luggage bags, this like compression straps. So you got these two straps that can kind of hold things down. So if you had something big in here, which I'll show you in the VX51, the X50 version, that I have something in the bottom. So let's just, you know, on top I've got the field pocket from GORUCK and a 
Mission Workshop pouch as well. And you can see in the bottom, I'm cinching down my Peak Design packing cubes. So you put these big packing cubes in here, then you cinch it down with these. It kind of just allows you to pack things on top of it, which I do really like and enjoy because there's sometimes you just, you know, you're just jamming stuff in there and there's really the bags just holding it together. Well, because you're it allows you can cinch these things all the way down the bottom. But now it's got these buckles and pick them out. This allows you to pack it a lot differently. So here they are, this is what they look like. No other organization on the back of this bag, but you do have these two really nice straps all the way out. You know, clip them across whatever you have, and then jam it all the way in there, and then you're gonna cinch down whatever you have. Here's the inside of the VX50 and that black. But anyway, so that's the inside of these. This one over here, which looks a lot better packed. So let's just get all this stuff out. So inside of this, this looks really nice, right? This is, I mean, perfectly situated. I've got the 10 liter packing cube from GoRuck on the bottom, the eight liter from Evergoods, and then I've got just another field pocket in the top. So that's to me, the perfect volume utilization 10 8 and then another what, two and a half i think ish three uh for the field pocket gr1 size so bam that just fits this volume perfectly and you know that's how i would roll if i was using this one on a trip and then using the outside for my ever goods cap one so there you go what do i think about these well a lot of people love these bags and I do too. They're super lightweight, but it's just fantastic. Really durable bags. Been very happy with everything I've seen from ULA. I've got for that circuit, when I do that video, I've got a bunch of attachments and it's just an awesomely built bag. One thing I didn't mention is the, uh, the outside or the shoulder straps, the curve to these suckers is very nice. And so I really do like the way they look, the way they feel, makes it super comfortable. Probably for a range of people. I think this is the S curve. So when I got my custom circuit, I did the same thing with the straps. Another little pro tip is that this thing is a more of a EDC travel bag. Is you really may not need this thing locked in like you would if you were hiking. So their sternum strap, which is included and removable, if that's what you wanted to do, it is um, stretchy on one side. So it just makes it really comfortable if you're going in and out of the airport in you know and around town just gives a little bit of a give and it just makes it you know it's nice i like that so it doesn't feel sort of dialed in like you're on a, a ruck or a mountain expedition so very nice how will it age i don't know it's already sort of you know gotten a little crinkly looking um which you know this other one doesn't kind of feel that way and again i don't know do you like this color do you like this sort of dark gray stealthy version versus the more black version of the v50 vx50 the regular dragonfly all right since we have it out let's compare this 30 liter dragonfly to some other great 30 liter bags here's the evergoods mpl 30 30 liters designed for the mountain life outdoor specific not a ton of edc options but as you can see sits a lot taller definitely a little bit deeper this one maybe more than 30 liters and this or this one's not quite 30 liters but either way that's how they compare side to side and how they look the dragonfly versus the mpl 30. feature wise we have more external pockets bottle pockets just like we have over here we have two compression straps and a curved back panel with a rod in there to make it definitely feel a lot more comfortable more substantial of a bag and it definitely weighs a lot more um, not quite twice as much as the dragonfly but you know you just get different things with different bags and i like them both anyway that's how they compare side to side the mpl 30 and dragonfly all right this one's not exactly 30 28 liters but this is the triple lot design edc light speed edc and so this is how they look side by side again dragonfly and edc this one's in waxed canvas so just side by side about the, about the same dimensions but when you're talking wax canvas you're easily twice as much weight as this one there you go side by side with the edc that's the general comparison 
finally I did it. Love it, like it. It's just very functional. I love the pocket layout. It's got a very distinctive shape. Definitely a winner. Pick one up on a Wednesday. If they have them available, you're not going to be disappointed in terms of the build and the durability of this pack. If you like this video, got some value out of it, give it a thumbs up. Helps other people find the video. I got a whole lot coming out. If you saw my Instagram post, there's a ton more just on deck. And even since then, I've gotten a few more that I'm really excited to release. So definitely sign up for alerts, subscribe to the channel. You're not going to miss, you're not going to want to miss what's coming out next. Let's get outside. See you in the next video. got a twofer. I mean, it's not really a twofer. It's the same bag. Two different versions of it, though. And this is the ULA Ultralight Adventure Equipment Dragonfly. Take two. Bent. It's falling off. Sounds better. Sounds better.